Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate random numbers with Fortran. Random numbers are quite important in simulation, whether you want to generate the initial velocities for your simulation, or you want to do some stochastic dynamics like Langevin dynamics or even active matter simulations. These require the generation of random number inside your code. So in this video, what I'm going to do is to show you of a very simple, like four or five line code by which you can generate random numbers. So let's first start by creating a file. Say I'm naming it random.f90 and start writing on it. Implicit none then define a variable called real r define another variable integer say i and i might need another one say n steps so basically n step will determine how many random numbers you want to generate how many steps you want to uh, run the loop for and rather it will be good if I just define it as a parameter say I want to generate 100 random numbers Let's see if it opened again okay and then the main body of the code so the command is call random underscore number and within bracket you have to put the variable in which you want to put the random number and this command will produce a random number between range 0 and 1 so let's call it inside loop i equals 1 comma n step and write the random number in a file to star r and do and then finally end so that is all you don't need to do anything else and this code will give you a file name fort.2 which will contain 100 random numbers uniformly distributed between 0 and 1. So let's run the code. And as you can see, you have generated an executable file called a.out. Need to execute it, and the output is ready 4.2. So let's see. And you can see inside the 4.2 file, you have total 100 random numbers distributed between 0 and 1. For a graphical representation, you can open it with XMGrace or any other graphical software you have, graph plotting software. And you can see, uh, just let me, okay, so you can see that it's kind of uh, randomly distributed. If you want to make an histogram out of it, you can do that also, and you can see that it, it will be randomly distributed. But uh, if you go for a very large number, like instead of 100, you take 1,000 or 10,000, your distribution will be smoother. So now the method I have showed you will generate random numbers in single precision. But you can change that into double precision very easily just change this variable type from real to double precision and run the code again and then let's see the output has changed so previously 
you can see that these uh, numbers beyond the decimal were less and now it's in double position. So another trick is that if you want to generate random number between two defined uh, say lower and upper limit. So you can also do that by just introducing a very minimal uh, algebraic manipulation. Let's try to do that here. So basically I'm going to uh, just say lower limit say you want from minus 10 to upper limit say plus 10 no need to write plus just 10 and here you have to write r equals the low limit plus upper limit minus low limit times r. So now the new r will be within the limit minus 10 to plus 10 instead of within 0 to 1. So let's run the code again. Oops, there is an error. Maybe I haven't defined correctly. Oh, sorry, it has to be limit, not lim. Now there should be no problem. Okay, so let's see the output file. And you can see now the random numbers are within the range minus 10 to plus 10 instead of 0 and 1. So with that, uh, I'm going to end the video. Um, but remember that this method will give you an uniform distribution. So if you want to generate a Gaussian distribution or a gamma distribution of random numbers, uh, you have to do a little more algebraic manipulation inside the loop. So that will be a topic of another video. Thanks for watching it.